So my C++ teacher calls these things functions, but my Java teacher calls them methods, and I'm still confused about what a procedure is. Looks like we have a naming problem. Procedures versus functions versus methods, and hopefully no more terms enter this battle. This is not the WWE where you can just run out the locker room and beat people up. To start all three of these terms are some sort of organized grouping of code that accomplished a specific goal. They are just a named group of code that want to work on something together. It's very cute. Let's proceed with procedures. I am going to go out on a limb and say a procedure has no inputs or outputs. It simply executes some code and does the same thing every time. Like when you need to make a bean and cheese burrito at Taco Bell, just sloppily mash the beans and cheese and tortilla together to execute the same procedure. A function, however, takes some inputs and returns an output. Not all that different from a math function, but don't cry. I think the confusion here is because you can make a void function that returns nothing and has no input parameters, but it's still written with a function header in that same code structure. So how about we agree that a procedure is a specific type of function that has no input parameters and no return value, where a typical function does have inputs and outputs. But wait, now we have our Java teacher throwing in this methods idea. Why oh why, while well, Java is an object-oriented language which means you generally have to make a class and object to do things. Java the Hutt decided to be cool and give a function that belongs to a class of objects its own name, methods. That is procedures, functions, and methods. Since I think functions are pretty standard to coding, this Venn diagram is simply how I see it. But oh geez, there's one word called an algorithm. I'll just give you one sentence on that. Let's just say an algorithm makes use of many smaller, more specialized functions, methods, or procedures, and then puts them together with some logic and data to solve a larger problem. Kinda like that YouTube algorithm that never tells you to watch this video.